To you be all the glory, to you be all the honor, dominion, majesty, power forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving us another day again on glorious morning shower. Thank you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome again to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. I believe God is using this platform to bless you. Please invite more people to join us for everyday morning devotion called Glorious Morning Shower. And on Glorious Morning Shower, it's a time that we come before God early in the morning to have a word bath so that our day can be glorious. And as we are connected this morning by the grace of God and by the mercy of His word that is coming your way today, your day will end glorious in Jesus' name. How was your Thanksgiving yesterday? I'm sure you were blessed. I'm sure you had a nice time with God. I'm sure you gave your life again. And I hope you didn't just come before God empty-handed. You gave God something. May the Lord multiply whatever you have given yesterday to the glory of His holy name in the name of Jesus. Quickly this morning again, God wants me to remind you, to let you know that all your praises yesterday has done something in his kingdom. So, thanksgiving and praise move God. Many don't know what thanksgiving does to God. Apart from being a weapon that we use to fight the enemy, thanksgiving Praise worship does a lot to God Himself. Among many other things that thanksgiving does to God is that it moves the hand of God, moves Him to the direction of man. You notice that God is a spirit. According to John chapter 4, say God is a spirit, and then I worship him, must worship him in truth and in spirit. A man dwells in the realm of humanity. God lives in the realm of divinity. There is a big gap between man and God. If God wants to come to the territory of man, he must use man. If man need to come to divinity level, he must consult God. That's how it is spiritual. Please know that. So one thing that easily moves the spiritual to condescend to humanity is praises. The book of John chapter 12 Verse 32 says, If I be lifted up, I will now draw men to myself. And if I be lifted up from earth, I will draw men. So, lifting up the name of Jesus Christ, lifting up God by praising Him, Draw men to God. So anytime you want God to come to your level, keep praising Him. Keep praising Him. King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Lord. My life is in your hand. All my life is for you. Nobody else. And it will swear the head of God. And the next thing it does is drag you to himself. Then he will now ask, what do you want? When most, uh, 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 Solomon did that wonderful thanksgiving in the book of 1 Kings chapter 3, the Bible says, God came down in the middle of the night and said, Solomon, my son, 
what do you want? What? He went to the high place and slaughtered 1,000 bulls. And God couldn't sit there. The Bible said very well. He came down in the middle of the night. At what do you want? So when you give to God, when you appreciate God, when you thank God, you will see Him condescend. But when you are a complainer, He pass you by. God hates grumbling. God hates complainers. Haven't you seen what He has done? The gift of life that we breathe. Can you pay for it? When Paul and Silas were in prison, what happened? Say, Paul and Silas, they pray, they sang the Holy Ghost. So when you praise, when you sing, then the power of the Most High will come down. So this morning, you are going to praise God. You are going to sing. And you will now see the intervention of God in your life. You will see the hand of God working miracle for you. So I charge you in the name of Jesus Christ that don't give up on thanking God. If you just stop yesterday, let all through your day today be a day of thanksgiving, giving Him praise because you need Him. Giving him praise. That's one of the easy way to 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 let me use this word. Forgive me, say, to bribe God to come to lift him up, worship him, lay flat on the floor, lift up holy hands, two hands, thanking him. Then you see the mighty hand of God. In that situation, in Jesus' name. Thanking God, make God to rule in the affairs of men. You know that story? Daniel and Nebuchadnezzar. See, God rules in the affairs of men. Why? Because Daniel thanked God. When he praise God, praise God, praise God, worship God, have you not done this? Are you not the one that did that place? in the olden time? Then the Bible says, and the secret was revealed to Daniel. So the secret of your life will be revealed to you. When you lift him up, he will come down to the level in Jesus' mighty name. It's going to be a glorious day for you. By his grace today, you have already connected divinity to humanity. Divinity and humanity. God, divine. Man, human. Humanity, divinity. Blend. And let me say that devil that will be able to stop you. And as you approach into your day this morning, be confident of the fact that you are in partnership with divinity and no devil can molest you. No devil can humiliate you. No devil can bring you down in the name of Jesus. I tell you as I feel in my spirit right now, he said that shame will not happen. That shame will not happen. Let them gang up. That shame will not happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Miraculously, the hand of God will rescue you from that situation in Jesus' mighty name.